Wow, man. The Muda Museum. This is the mecca for the enthusiasts of the high. Me as the face, because I'm the beautiful one. And you as the brains. Yeah. <laughs> This is amazing. This might be the next holy grail. Let's get our butts on the road. We're gonna find everything. Hell yeah. So I'm out here in front of the Muda Museum in Philadelphia, waiting for my buddy Jeremy. He's uh, 35 minutes late. He's coming in from Atlanta. People from Georgia, they're on their own time, I suppose. He's got something really special. I can't believe that he found it, quite honestly, which is part of the reason why we're coming here to the Muda, because our friend Anne is a curator here, and is going to be able to tell us a lot more about it. About time! Hey. <laughs> I got it right here, man. I'm excited. Yeah, that's beautiful. Back in Georgia, I made an awesome score. So we came to the Muir Museum to find out how authentic this piece is. You gonna show me now? Oh, hell no, man. You gotta wait. We like busting each other's chops about it. Like, yeah. Yo, man, look what I found. Like, like you, man. You didn't find it. <laughs> like, come on, man. You really gonna make me wait? Yes, you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the Muir Museum. This is the mecca for the enthusiast of the odd. <laughs> we come here from time to time because they have the technology to find out what this stuff is that we're finding out there. My name is Jeremy Gibbs. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a collector. I've always looked for treasures, going to flea markets, yard sales, whatever. I've always looked for that item that is kind of different. I just recently opened a store called Rainy Day Revival. I sell weird taxidermy, medical stuff, asylum, anything that strikes an interest in the curiosity. We want to see what is authentic, what's not, separate the garbage from the jewels with both of our strengths. Me as the face, because I'm the beautiful one, and you as the brains. Yeah. <laughs> As a kid, I used to jump on the train from New York City, come down here and geek out. Now I'm able to actually speak to the curator. That's a dream for me. This is the most beautiful wall I've ever seen in my life. This is it. This is the wall I need for my home. Yeah, man. My name's Alex Saavedra. I'm predominantly a collector, actually. However, I do come across a lot of different things that I know other people are looking for. We need a museum. <laughs> He's from a different world, and we were brought together with the same passion. My southern charm doesn't uh, always get me over up here, but you got the New York fast speak. I'm the quick talker. <laughs> if someone's like being wishy-washy or something, like I know Jeremy's gonna be the man to get him to deliver the product, take care of the situation. That's man. my preacher background, man. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> I, I bring him to believe. Oh my God, man! This is so freaking awesome. This is the soap lady. Saponified body, so it's not actually so. Her fat just broken down like that. That is crazy. I think I've seen everything. We're now. getting close to it. So let's find Anna. Yeah. Let's All see right. what she thinks of this. All right. Cool. Hi, Doris. Doris. Good afternoon. Anna, how are you? How you doing, guys? I think I have something you might like. All right, what's in the box? Um, I was hoping you could tell me. I have All some right. ideas. <laughs> All right. No, not like that. <laughs> this is why I have trust issues. Do I have to open it like this? Is it gonna come out at me? Anna Doty, she's a curator at the Mütter Museum. We come to her from time to time. I'm drawn to the aesthetics and the beauty of these things, but I want to know more. And this is where we come to find out. All right, I'm trusting you guys here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's pretty awesome. Mm. 
my first response when I saw this thing is it's cloth with a uh, you know glass eyes. I was like, man, this is one creepy yeah. beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what you have? I mean, what do you what do you think you have? Um, the guy that I got it from said it was a World War II gas mask. Close, but no cigar. It is a World War One gas mask. Oh wow! This is one of the earliest gas masks that they made. That's a lot better for me. Yes, but <laughs> how do we know that? There's not gases on this. Would it still be on there? Did you touch this with I, your bare hands? I did. I mean, it's just cloth. You feel okay. a burning sensation? No, I feel no burning. All right, then let's let's be cautiously optimistic. <laughs> now, but as for this, the reason it just stood out to me as World War One is that it's really primitive. World War One was the first time in history that we were using chemical warfare in a systemic way. They had chlorine gas, they had phosgene, and they had mustard gas. This would have protected against the chlorine a little bit, teeny bit against the phosgene, and it would have done crap all for the mustard gas. It just wasn't very effective. <laughs> yeah, this looks like the first gen. This looks like 1915. All right, well, cool. That excites me. It's kind of rare in this condition, mm -hmm. and it's got a super creepy aesthetic. I love it. So I want to know if this saw action. Because uh -huh. to us, if it did, it's going to be much more valuable. All right. Well, if it saw any action, it's possible there might be something on this. Well, I want that it saw action, but I don't want Maybe it on you, my hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, let's go see if we can do some testing. All right, great. Excellent. All right. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> so this looks like... A World War One pee mask. Yep. Don't let any of the masks get on your skin. No, I got you. All right. <laughs> I want to be blistered. You were just carrying well, that thing maybe. around. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I didn't think it was Ooh. that delicate. This is delicate, but also your skin <laughs> is delicate. <laughs> oh, that's not a that's not a pee mask. It's not. That is a pH. Oh. So what's the difference? Uh, pH mask was the second generation. So this is the upgrade. It's the upgraded model. That's right. So this one will protect you better against chlorine and phosgene, and it's also effective against cyanide. So this could have cyanide on it? Well, we hope not, but yeah. We'll have to see. So we're going to use uh, x-ray fluorescence. We're shooting low energy x-rays. Each element has a unique energy, so we can tell what the elements were in the sample. Let's we'll see how this works. Well, uh, this is very interesting results. See this peak right here? That's a sulfur peak. There's a huge difference in sulfur content. That's an indication that this mask actually did see action, and the soldier was hit by uh, mustard gas. That's awesome. OK, cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to follow their lead. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, I think that's good news. That's awesome. Cause, uh... <laughs> this is that's really cool. cool, but it's very contaminated. Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. Do you know what mustard gas does? It's a blistering agent. Yes. Looks like we're going to need some gloves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's seen action. It's been in war. I think it's a great piece. Oh, it's wonderful. If you really want to know more about World War One, there's a guy, especially in Philadelphia here, that knows a lot more than I do about it. Well, that's so great. I'm happy to put you in touch. That would be good. Okay. That's what we need to do. Yes. Great. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for bringing this. It's amazing. Anna led us to a guy in the area that actually is a collector. So we're headed that way. Wow. Lots so of toys. Good. Yeah, we got hair art, we got taxidermic. I think he's looking at me funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's two beautiful goth people yeah. in this, you know, black living room. Like adorable, <laughs> adorable couple. So you guys have some World War One pieces, right. right? We got one awesome piece you're gonna lose your mind over. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh man. This is great. <laughs> Check out the arm. That's a prosthetic arm. This is World War One. Bet you never seen that before. This is absolutely amazing. Man, that that arm really takes it. I want to know more about it. So trench warfare is really, really brutal. So you're getting these soldiers who have all sorts of both physical and psychological scars. This wire right here would enable the user to open this. So they don't have their hand, but they have like something. Some function, yeah. They have something, yeah. 
is awesome. Yeah, the leather crazy steampunk leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to make light of, of someone losing their limb, but that's actually a cool looking piece. You know, I wouldn't be ashamed to walk around with that. It's almost like you know steampunk. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful piece. Right. So what do you think yeah, that piece is worth? That beats probably weighs. I'd say eighteen hundred. God damn. You guys, obviously, you have everything. Can't have everything. It's got to be something you're looking for. If you notice, we have some medical stuff, but we don't have a lot. We don't have that prize piece. I need yeah. that something that's just like, wow, where did yeah. you get that? I want something nobody has. What I love about medical, you go back into history and it's so barbaric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, what time frame I, yeah. are you guys thinking? 1880s, 1890s, up into the 30s for me. What is your budget? I like to keep it around three grand. Maybe a little bit higher for something extraordinary. Oh, if you find something unreal, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, there's always debt we can go into. <laughs> so I'm really excited to find something for you. So I'll head to Atlanta and reach out to some of my contacts. Yeah, I'm gonna go back up to New York because I have some ideas as well. Between the two of us, we could make you happy. Awesome. Yeah. When a client sends us out and we split up, it's like, game on. <laughs> So I'm down in Georgia. This is my roots. This is my place, this is my palace, this is where I feel at home. And I hook up my Sarah, she's my boots on the ground. Let's check it out. It's cool to find a place we've never been before. Of course. Sarah is awesome. I'll send her out, she's got a good eye, she'll look around, she's a scout. I think I've treasure hunted in every place around here. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Hello. Welcome to Thunderbird Salvage. Man, this is awesome. What brings you here? Oh, we're looking for stuff. You got any stuff? Awesome. Yes, this is all stuff. <laughs> wow. Yeah, oh, you, got a, you got a good bit of stuff. What kind of stuff are you looking for? Medical stuff, and antique oddities, you know, mm -hmm. some, some, you know, strange things. We definitely have some of that for all you. All right, good. Just take a look can, around. We can look around? Oh, yeah, yeah, all, right, all you want. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> Reverend Jeremy, you. <laughs> take me to church, Let me give you a please. blessing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so about a year ago, Jeremy hired me onto a shop because of my pre-existing knowledge. I do work mostly in research in the oddities community. This is amazing. <laughs> Jeremy is the coolest dude. He has a really good mind for negotiation. I've never seen someone as silver-tongued as that man. He could talk his way out of any situation. Shit. Hmm. Mummified cat. My radar's working. Oh, poor bud. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> Shit. Has he still got powder on him? I learned that you're supposed to wear gloves whenever you touch anything now. That's totally Well, fair. I just won't lick my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's some cool stuff in here, for sure. You don't go into a car dealership and say, I really need a car today, you know, to show me what you got. You kind of browse around. It's a nice guy. Uh, The search is fun, it always is, but to find that one thing that this guy doesn't know about that's hidden in all this stuff, that's what I'm there for. Hey, George? Yes? I think we're about to get out of here. Yeah. But uh, I found this little box here. Okay, what did you it, find here? It's just some tubes, like some glass blown tubes. We can't act too excited and show all of our cards. We gotta play dumb sometimes. Oh, this is yeah, a very just, special piece. I already knew what it was when I saw it. This is a violet ray machine from the early 1900s. This is made by Nikola Tesla. The violet ray generator is basically a quack medical device that they thought was a cure-all. We use electricity to cure different skin elements, dandruff, shingles, hey, you know, it's quack medical. In the end, everybody realized that it wasn't really doing anything. It's a rare artifact. Mm -hmm. So what's your price on that, man? 20 bucks. Well, you know, it's worth four to five hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, um, all right, well, man, I'll be back. I mean, I love your spot. I'll tell you what, I'll do 250 and uh, we got a deal. Deal. Appreciate Thank it. you. Yes. Thank you.
a violet ray generator. I've never seen one in this great of condition. It's really magnificent. Autumn and Matt are really gonna dig this piece. I stayed within budget for sure. Hopefully because I was able to get it at a good price, I'll be able to make some profit. I wonder what Alex is up to. Uh, in autumn, they have an idea of what they want. However, they're pretty open and trusting with us. I love when a client does that. Where did I just walk into, man? <laughs> Troy's a well-known guy in this world. I had a really good feeling that I'd be able to find what I need here. I didn't know I was going to an actual museum. Yeah, before you start with one skull and all of a sudden you have uh... They do multiply at night, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've never seen this mask in person. That's a necromancer yeah. mask. Tibetan Buddhists made these for different rituals. It was definitely used, and it's definitely an authentic, you it's know, beautiful. piece, which makes it a lot more rare. It's great. It's super cool. So while looking through all of Joy's pieces, I keep thinking about my client and why I'm really here. I have a client that's looking for something very special, medical related. It has to be early has to be rare. Does anything come to mind? I really rarely sell anything out of my collection, but I have a piece that it, it's spectacular. I might entertain it for the right money. All right, this is a piece that I was talking about. It's from Vienna. It's a face phantom. It was used for teaching, training purposes. It actually physically put a human eye into this thing and do surgeries, dissections, things like that. I don't even like touching this thing because it's so fragile. There's only four in existence left. I've never seen one of these in person before. And Matt and Autumn will freak out if they see this thing. If I throw a number out, it's not an insult. It's five grand. <sighs> you know, it's a little bit light for that. Would you be able to do seven? Can we meet at six and I'll owe you a favor? Yeah? You know what? I'd like to see a piece go to a good home. You owe me a favor, though. Deal. You're going to be really, really happy. Awesome. The client had a budget of $3,000. I doubled that budget just now, but I know they're going to be really excited. I'm curious, what do we got? I didn't really find anything that would fit the bill, but I did see one thing that really caught my eye. I got something really special. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found something that you like and it fits in your budget. Violet ray generator. It's a quack medical device. So they started making these in the late 1800s. It was very popular because people had electricity and the electricity was magic and different wands for different parts of the body, even some for insertion. Yeah. yeah. Insertion? <laughs> can you show us how that works? Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that for you. You, you. you can do whatever you want after I leave. Later on, people realized that it really wasn't doing much and became more of a party favor, you know? And their acne wasn't clear enough. <laughs> I love the psychological aspects. How many years were people using this and believing electricity is magic? To me, it was a holy grail. I've never seen one this intact. It's in working condition. I'm curious what you're asking. I can let this baby go for $3,000. I feel like it has had a little bit of restoration. Yeah, you huh? can tell like the cord's more modern. Well, that's less of a chance to bring your home down. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Let's see what you got, man. Okay. Let's, Let's see here. Wow. Okay. And there it is. I feel like a gremlin's gonna pop out of this or something. This box is like really so old. Wow. What? <laughs> what is oh this? <laughs> This is a Viennese phantom. It was used to do research on the eyes of cadavers. The actual eyes would be inserted in here. 
So it was that, practicing exactly. surgery and they dissect the eye. Dissection. This is you. like next level. This like, is I've never seen. Beyond. I never even heard of this. Neither like, have I. Before. And, like, you know, I've been around. <laughs> yeah. There are only four known to exist. Really? <sighs> to have made it still. It encompasses it's so intense. everything we're into. I find it like super hypnotic. It is phenomenal. Yeah. Wow, I am so terrified to ask you, what are we talking here? It is a lot higher, a little higher, a lot of higher. How much? 8,000. Oh. I mean, I've oh. never seen anything like this before. You never no. will see anything like this again. If you don't go for this, I'm going for it. <laughs> <laughs> this piece is no doubt out of their price range. But even if they don't want it, that thing's going on my mantle. It's not going on yours. Oh, and it's going to stay there until we sell it. Definitely. It wants to live here. He does. <laughs> I feel like you won this one. Nah, maybe. <laughs> you know, we like to treat ourselves, and it's been a while since we've got an opportunity. Let's do it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> you don't always win. The search is fun. It always is. And at the end of the day, we made money off of this. Right. We still did it together. Yeah, it was teamwork. Exactly. There's no winners or losers, but this time you lost. <laughs> this motherfucker didn't play by the rules. Okay? I could have gone out there and spent 6000 freaking dollars, but I didn't. <laughs>